classic box optimization problem. This is a typical calculus problem. An open box is to be made from a piece of metal 16 by 30 inches by cutting out squares of equal size from the corners and bending up the sides. So the sides become the flaps of the box essentially on the sides. What size square should be cut out to create a box with greatest volume? What is the maximum volume as well? First of all, we're going to look for an equation for the volume of that box. And the volume of a box of a rectangular prism is its length times its width times its height. Now let's analyze with our dimensions. We have a sheet that's 30 inches in length. And so when we cut out the corners, the squares of side x, we're going to have our length is going to be 30 inches minus this x on one side, this x on the other side, so minus 2x. And for the, the width, we have 16 minus 2x. And the flaps of the box, when we fold them up from the cutout corners, is going to leave us with a height h of x units. So this is our formula, our equation for the volume of the box. So we're going to try to look to the principle of having this volume of the box. We're going to have some kind of a cubic function here that will go maybe like this. And we're looking for the very peak and that will give us our maximum volume. And for that, we're going to differentiate this equation. And to differentiate, we're going to first, to make it easier on us, is multiply, expand out. So we have 30 times 16, which is going to be 480. We have negative 2x times 16, which can be minus 32x. We're going to have minus 2x times 30, which is going to be minus 60x. And we're going to have negative 2x times negative 2x, which is going to be plus 4x squared. And we're multiplying all this by x. Next, we're going to distribute this x to all terms inside the parentheses. So we have volume equals 480x minus, okay, we have negative 32x minus 60x. That'll be uh, minus 92x squared. And we're going to have, finally, plus 4x cubed. All right. Now let's take the first derivative of this function to be able to maximize. Let's see. 4x cubed. That's going to end up being 12x squared. And negative 92x squared. That's going to differentiate it be negative 184x. And the derivative of 480x is going to be plus 480. Now we're going to set this derivative, this first derivative, equal to 0. So we say 0 equals 12x squared minus 184x plus 480. Now, we're going to try to solve this by factoring. And to do this, we're looking for a greatest common factor. Uh, we could try 12, but I don't believe negative 184 factors out evenly integer-wise for, for divided by 12. So we're going to factor out a 4 from each term. So we're left with 3x squared minus What's 184 divided by 4? I think that's going to be 46. 
let's see, 46, 46 x plus 40 divided by 4 is we'll have 20. And we can divide both sides of this equation by 4. And we're left with 0 equals 3x squared minus 46x plus 120. Now we're going to attempt to solve by factoring, solve for x. So we say 0 equals. We're going to set up two binomial uh, parentheses sets here. So what are the factors of 3x squared? We could try 3x and x. And we know we have positive 120, yet our middle term is negative. So we're going to have a negative times a negative. And now the factors of 120 that added up equal after multiplied out, negative 46. Um, let's try 10 and 12. Well, if we try negative 12 here and 10 here, I think we get, uh, let's see, that would be 30x minus 30x minus 12, 17 minus 42x, maybe negative 46x. Let's try 10 here and 12 here. And that's going to give us minus negative 10x minus 36x. That's going to work out. So we have two factors here, each of which we're going to set equal to 0 because the zero factor property of algebra, anything times 0 is 0. So we have 3x minus 10 equals 0 and x minus 12 is equal to 0. So we have on the right here x equals 12. And we, on the left equation here, if we add 10, divide by 3, x is going to be equal to 10 over 3, which as a mixed number be, I think it's 3 and 1 third. So these things are what we call our critical numbers. All right. I'm going to do is set up a number line analysis. And here we go. On the left, the number line analysis. We're going to have volume prime on top and volume on bottom. And our critical numbers are 10 thirds and 12. So uh, let's go back to this equation here, which is factored out. The zero equals. We're going to we're going to try numbers at different within the different intervals on this number line. A number less than ten thirds, maybe zero. Okay, let's see. Zero. That would be negative ten. Times negative twelve will be negative times a negative is positive. So from 0 up to 10 thirds, because 0, we can't have a x less than 0 or negative. If you try a number between 10 thirds and 12, maybe 10. Uh, 3 on the left here, 3 times 10 is 30 minus 10. That's positive. But over here on the right, 10 minus 12 is negative. Negative times positive is negative. So the function value is going down between 10 thirds and 12. And to the right, we have um, a number greater than 12, maybe 20. Okay, 3x minus 10, that's going to be 50. Okay, 8, positive times positive, positive. So our candidate for a maximum is right here. So x is going to be equal to 10 thirds according to our analysis. And let's go ahead. I have this pre-programmed in our calculator, I believe. Here's the function entered. We're going to graph this function and look at it. Uh, here's the function. Again, it's a cubic function, like uh, I said earlier. Move it up here. 
and we're looking for the maximum over here so you go to menu uh, analyze graph we look for option three maximum this is lower bound question mark upper bound question mark there we go we got uh, 3.33 is our x value that's 10 thirds approximately right and we have let's see we have our volume 726 so that'll be 700 so volume equals 726 cubic inches so there's a classic box optimization problem and I hope this is helpful to you and I thank you for viewing.